Happy New Year to everyone, and yes, World Cup qualifying is back. On today's show, we'll be taking a look at the list of players called up by Dragan Skocic, and we will preview the showdown with Iraq. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Eli Talk. Would there be any surprise call-ups this time around from head coach Dragan Skocic? Hey everyone, glad you're back for some more Team Elite Talk. We know what's on your mind, so let's get right to the 27-man roster. First, the goalkeepers. Ali Reza Bayron Vand, Amir Abedzadeh, and Payam Niazman. Now of course, I am wanting Ali Reza Bayron Vand to be starting against Iraq, but I actually expect Amir Abedzadeh to get the start because he's been on excellent form lately with Ponferradina in Spain. And Ali Reza Baronvan, on the other hand, is not seeing the pitch very much with Boa Vista in the Portuguese Primeira Liga. Time for the center backs. Shoja Khaliazade, Hossein Kenani, Sio Vashiazdani, and Majid Hosseini. No need to talk about controversy, and I am expecting to see Shoja Khaliazade and Hossein Kenani as the two starting center backs. As for the wing backs, Sadek Muharami, Milad Mohammadi, Saleh Hardani, and Omid Nurafkan. Once again, no changes from Dragan Skocic, but it is worth pointing out that it will probably be very difficult for Milad Mohammadi to get back into the starting lineup, and I say this mainly because of the play lately from Omid Nurafkan, and we also cannot forget that Vahid Amiri and Essana Hajsafi are also able to play at the left back position. Time for the midfielders Saide Ezatulahi, Ahmad Nurolahi, Esan Hajsafi, Vahid Amiri, and Milad Sarlak. We all know that phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And having said that, I'm hoping to see Saeed Ezatolahi and Ahmad Nurlahi starting at the defensive midfield positions. Now for the wingers slash attacking midfielders, Ali Reza Jahan Bash, Saman Godus, Ali Golizade, Mehdi Torabi, Mehdi Gaidi, and Alayar Sayad Manesh. Plenty of depth at the wing position for Iran, and I am hoping to see Mehdi Gaidi get some playing time against Iraq. Last but not least, the forwards. Sardar Azmoun, Mehdi Tarami, Karim Ansari Fard, Kaveh Rezaei, and Shahab Zahedi. Plenty to say here, but first, congratulations to Sardar Azmoun on signing with Bundesliga club Bayer Leverkusen. As we are told, Sardar Azmoun will join Leverkusen in July of 2022. And Azmoun currently leads Iran with four assists in the final round of World Cup qualifying. He continues to grow as a player, and let's not forget that he also has two goals for Iran in the final round of qualifying. Next, Mehdi Tarami is back. Let's all breathe that sigh of relief. And Shahab Zahidi finally gets his first call up to Team Meli. What an accomplishment this is for the striker who has been playing in the Ukrainian Premier League since 2019. He is a classic poacher with excellent finishing skills. It is hard to say if he will play against Iraq or the UAE, but I'm hoping he gets the opportunity to make an appearance as a substitute. Iraq is currently fifth in the Group A table with four points and is coming off a 3-0 loss to South Korea. As for the last meeting between Iran and Iraq, well, it was Iran that came away with a dominant 3-0 victory when these two teams met in Qatar back in September. Iraq is not in good shape as of late, but this team still has some talented footballers that Iran should watch out for. And those players are Mohanad Jaiz, Amir Al Amari, and Zidane Iqbal. Mohanad Jaiz is currently playing for Hammarby in the top flight of football in Sweden, only has two caps for Iraq but he has been capped before for Sweden at the U19 level. Amir Al Amari currently plays for Gothenburg, also in the top level of football in Sweden. Only two appearances so far in Iraq, but he has scored one of the goals that Iraq has in the final round of qualifying. And yes, once again, he was also previously capped for Sweden at the U19 level. And of course, cannot forget about Zidane Igbal of Manchester United. He's only 18 years old, but he recently made his first appearance for Manchester United against Young Boys in UEFA Champions League. He hasn't been capped yet for Iraq, but I wouldn't be surprised if he saw the pitch against Iran. 
After all, Iraq is currently under the guidance of caretaker Jelko Petrovic, and it would not hurt for Petrovic to take a chance on giving Iqbal some playing time against Iran. Now, what does Iran need to do to come out on top against Iraq? Well, it's really simple. Let's take a look at the keys to victory. Number one, attack and press early. Number two, establish control in midfield. Now, the truth is that Iraq is missing some very experienced players for this upcoming qualifier against Iran. And it's exactly this reason why Iran must attack early and establish control in midfield. The bottom line is that Iraq has no chance of winning against Iran at the Azadi Stadium in Tehran. And as we know, a victory for Iran means qualification to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Now, what about you? What are your keys to victory? Leave a comment down below. Always looking forward to getting your input. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team LA Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Meli Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And of course, good luck to our Team Meli footballers. And I hope everyone in Iran is ready to party.